are told that zinc reacts with copper sulfate solution and we need to determine which apparatus can be used to determine the effect of the concentration of copper sulfate on the rate of reaction. So let's start by writing out a reaction equation so that we can see what sort of reaction we've got. So we have zinc metal reacting with copper sulfate solution and this is going to be a displacement reaction. So our zinc is going to displace that copper from the solution. So we will then get zinc sulfate solution and copper metal. And the reason why we get this displacement is because the zinc is more reactive than the copper, therefore it displaces that copper out of the solution. So looking at our equation here, and matching this up to our options, what we can see straight away is that we don't have an acid base reaction. So we don't have a proton donor or a proton acceptor. Therefore, using a pH meter will not help us to determine the effect of the concentration of copper sulfate on our rate of reaction because we're not going to be getting any significant changes of pH in this reaction. Now, as well as this, we're also not producing any gases. So we've started with a solid in solution and we're producing a solid in solution. So we're not going to produce any gases, therefore a gas syringe would not be an appropriate piece of equipment to use here. And because we're not producing any gases, which can then be released, we're also not going to see any change in mass in this reaction because nothing is going to be able to escape our system. Therefore, we can't use a balance. So this leaves a colorimeter as our answer, which is also appropriate for this reaction because our copper sulfate is a blue solution because our copper is a transition metal. And we know that a property of our transition metals is that they produce colored solutions for their compounds. Whereas our zinc is not a transition metal. Therefore, the zinc sulfate solution is actually just going to be colourless there. So what we will see as this reaction proceeds is we'll see the blue colour fading out. Therefore, the colorimeter will be the most appropriate piece of apparatus to determine our effective concentration.